Best Borders, just finishing up a home here in Scottsdale, protecting it against scorpions and other little pests without the use of pesticides. Permanently, it's a one-time installation for the life of the home. Coming up on the entry of the house here. The uh, threshold of this entry was level with the, or almost level with the pavers. So we needed to create some height to be able to run our barrier or border across the front of the door. So we custom made a metal threshold. As you can see, it's black. We were able to raise the level so that we can place our barrier in front of the doorway. You might notice some of the silicone is still white. It's because it's fresh. It will turn clear. Certain areas will have paint. This is um, just a, uh, a front patio type area. We've got a wall with a lot of bushes. They didn't want to pull the bushes out. Bushes are a no-no against the house for scorpions. Scorpions can climb up the bushes, bypass the barrier or the border. So we went along here, up the wall, across the top of the wall, and back down the other side, continuing back on the house. On this wall of the entry, we went around the bottom, because on the back side of this wall, there aren't any problem bushes. You need to to be sure all your shrubbery is trimmed from the house, not touching the home, because that'll give away for scorpions and other pests to bypass our barrier. These bushes, as you'll see in a second, have been trimmed in the backside, so they're not in contact with the house. Along the bottom, this is a block house, not a stucco home, it's an older home. This wall here, we came up, went across the top, so anything that might be crawling on this wall cannot get in contact with the house. We'll go around the, the back side. They have a double gate here. It's a little sunny here, so the photography might be so-so. Back down this wall, if you can see, it's really sunny. And we're about a, about 12 inches up on this block wall, coming down the long side of the house. We have to split the barrier right here with a fence attaches to the home. They just moved in, or they haven't moved in yet, they will be moving in, and they're gonna make some changes. You'll see a number of flower beds here that are unplanted. They're gonna make them low water, maybe cactus or something of that sort. Show you the backyard here, a little sand court for the kids. A lot of citrus trees. Coming back to the barrier, it's a long, planter here. They have all the water lines capped. Got a wire going up there onto the house. It looks like cable. We have a little PTFE or Teflon ring around that so nothing can climb up that wire. Going to the backyard here. I'll show you around a little bit. Again, another planter across the top of the planter. We step down to go underneath these double doors. Around. They got four pillars back here, stone pillars. We didn't want to put it on the bottom, the barrier, so we went up top and we placed the barrier up top. So scorpions or whatever can climb up the column, but they won't be able to get on the house. Right there on that beam, 
you'll see the barrier. They can't go onto the house from the pillar. And all four pillars are designed like that. Walk around here under this doorway. That threshold had enough height to it for us to easily place our barrier on there. Across the living room windows. Again, you might see some white silicone. Um, that's due to it not setting yet. It does take a number of hours for it to turn clear. Go back side, we have a barbecue island here. There we go around. I assume this is the chimney or the fireplace. Little inset area here, the gas meter. Any wires and pipes, as you can see, have rings around them so that nothing can climb up onto the house via a pipe. Here we have to do a little fancy, fancy work because of this conduit. So we couldn't put glass over it, so we put a ring of PTFE and aluminum combination around that. And then we go back out the gate, well, the other gate, close that. Go up that wall and back down, around, and into the garage. In the garage, we used polished aluminum. We do that for two reasons. One, it's less costly for the customer just as effective as the glass barrier. <clears throat> Two, we can't use it outside of the house because it's silver. And I don't think HOAs will be too keen on it. And there's also something called galvanic reaction. When you have raw metal in direct contact with concrete and in a moist environment, we go into these cabinets, in a moist environment, um, the metal tends to uh, corrode, so we can't have that. We come back around to the front of the house, we stretch here in front of the garage. Up and down, and back here, as you can see, the entry area. And that's this home here in Scottsdale, just completed with the pest border barrier installation. No more pesticides, <clears throat> permanent life of the home, and no scorpions in the house, plus 95% reduction of other pests. Thank you.